Facebook friends a little vertical hope today from Faith Builders Ministries. I was driving down the road and I decided to pull off because I could see in a, in a vision um, so many hurting people out there, so many disappointed people out there. And the Lord reminded me of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29 11. And he says in there, he says, I knew you before you were ever formed in your mother's womb. He knew you before your parents ever met. He knew you before you were ever a thought. He knew you and knew the plans for you. And that is good news. But I'm telling you what, he knew you before you were formed and he knew the plans for you is to prosper you. But I am also fully aware there's a lot of people that are sad, depressed, um, lonely, uh, de feeling defeated. And this is what I felt in my spirit. Then now listen, come a little closer. Listen here. Stop trying to be something you're not. Okay, that's what I felt in my spirit so strong as I was driving down the road. There are so many of you trying to be something that you weren't called to be. And uh, you you think, oh, you know what? Uh, writing looks fun. I think I'll be a writer or speaker looks fun to do. So I think I'll be a speaker or um, traveling looks fun. So I think I'll take a job traveling. And I'm telling you, listen, you need to seek God and find out your purpose and his plan for you here while you're on earth. Because wanting to do something that somebody else does just because that thing looks fun or looks um, interesting, you don't know all the, the work that may go into that. You only see the glitz and glamour maybe if somebody gets to speak that you see that and you think oh man I'd love to do that but there's a lot of the stuff on the back scene that you don't even aware of just personally speaking that you have no idea that has to happen before that 30 45 minutes of speaking times up there's like you know years of preparation for that and um, anyway and you're and you're feeling sad and, and depressed and defeated because you are chasing after a dream that was not yours <laughs> That's not what God wants you to do. And so you're saddened and you're you're striving. I remember a time when we were at the Copeland's Ministries and uh uh I taught a little bit there and we were part of the prayer uh team, prayer ministry team. And uh, I remember hearing Gloria Copeland and I was like, oh my gosh. So, you know, I go home and I start praying diligently. <laughs> Lord, please let me speak like Gloria Copeland. I mean, she's so eloquent in tongue. You know, she was just so prestige looking from the head to her toes and she just not a hair out of place. Everything looked perfect and her speech was flawless. And I just remember praying for that. And God said, no. He said, I, you, I created you exactly the way you are, and you will speak exactly the way I created you. Um, I have a huge laugh. I'm very animated. I, you know, I talk too fast sometimes and, and I get off on rabbit trails. But you know what? God said this to me. No, Michelle. You were created like I created you, and that's the way you will bring the message forward. So he did not give me um, the answer to my prayer because, you know what? He formed me. He knew me before I was in my mother's womb. He knew the plans he had for me. And being Gloria Copeland is not the plans he had for me. And he did not want me mimicking. The best you can be is you. <laughs> Glory to God. I hope this frees up some people out there today that are looking around and saying, you know, what what am I supposed to be? Who am I supposed to be? And you see all these other people. And so because you admire them, you want to be like them. But I'm wanting to tell you that is causing you more pain and more friction and more disappointment and more hurt and more dissatisfaction than if you just seek the Lord and see what he wants you to do while you're here. What is his plan and purpose? for you to do. <laughs> amen. Amen. The vertical hope today is this. God created you to be you. <laughs> and he has a plan according to Ephesians 2, uh, 10. Or he has already pre-planned a plan for you to do while you're here. Just try saying that three times. <laughs> hey, glory. Hallelujah. Have a good day. Bye-bye.